Well, thank you so very much. Welcome to the Jason Crab Show. I know it's been a couple, a couple of weeks since, but I am excited about being back. And we have a fantastic uh, guest lined up for you. And uh, it's going to be wonderful. He's a dear friend of mine. I've watched him grow up. It's going to be good. So here's what for you to... Um, Oh, share this, share it, share it, share it, share it, and share it. So let me fix this right now. I feel like it's a little crooked. <laughs> now we're better. So I want to sing something for you here. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Yeah. I need thee. Bless me now, Savior. I come to some terms. All fear is gone. Cause I know he holds the future. Life is worth living. I'm going to sing that one more time. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Life is worth living just because he lives. And everybody says amen to that. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I hope that you'll hit the share button in this beautiful guitar. This is made by Warrior. Beautiful guitar. Go ahead, hit the share button. Hey, listen, thank you for tuning in. Um, I apologize about the, uh, the the blue headphones, but my batteries ran out of the other one. So anyways, it is good to have you with us at the Jason Crab Show. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that everything is going good. Um, let me make sure my mic is good. Uh, everything is going good. I know that there's a lot going on. A lot of people are hurting. A lot of people are suffering. Uh, but there are some good things that is taking place. 
and uh, we just have to rejoice in knowing that who holds our future. He's still on the throne. He is alive forevermore, Jesus Christ. And there's nothing in the world like having that assurance and knowing that. And so that's what this show is all about, is giving praise. And uh, we love you. Thank you for sharing. Debbie, thank you for sharing that. I sure appreciate that. And uh, uh, I want to go ahead and get in uh, to a couple of things here. I'll read a scripture uh, that's on my heart here in just a minute. Um, I wanted to start out with a, a few songs. Uh, there are a couple of little courses. And uh, we might do another one here in just a little bit. Uh, one that's just kind of been on my heart. But I want to invite a dear friend that I am so proud of that I have watched grow up and I have watched his life flourish. Uh, I know his parents, very sweet uh, people, and they have done a fantastic job raising this young man. And, uh, and I want you to make him welcome right now, uh, Grayson. Russell, are you there, buddy? I am here. Grayson, hello, hello. man, hey, how hello, how are you, buddy? I'm doing great, boss. How are you? Man, you're looking good. You're looking well, good. You no, know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I've, I've, I've still got the same amount of hair. I just stuck it back this go around. Uh, hey, I like it. Hey, uh, it is it is the season of growing the hair out, I think. So, yeah. Uh, man. <laughs> so... Tell me, how's everything going? Um, you have, um, you have did now. You're at Lee University, right? Or I just graduated. No Ten way. Yeah, so we will have our uh, official graduation thing um, towards the front of the August. So, so you graduated. I have. Dude, I remember when you was a, just a young pup. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. That's that's hard to believe that you. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, there's the bro. There it is. Wow. Come, come on, man. <laughs> Look at that. That yeah. is awesome. Now, is that right? Now, that's right before. I, I, I don't know. I was trying to figure out how old you might have been right I there. Um, I sent one to mom today that was when we first met back at Crab Fest. This is going to be um, – uh, the long hair didn't start until after Teledynics. This is probably like 2008, 2009. Yeah. I think wow. this was at that uh, Louise Mandrell thing. Oh, um, yeah. I, I think that's what that. that's from. That's been a hot minute. <laughs> hey, hey. That's I'm been gonna, a while. It, I'm going to tell you what. Things just keep getting better and better and better. Now, listen. So let, let, let me introduce, for those of you that have been under a rock and don't know <laughs> what Gray, Grace and Russell has been doing, you have been doing – uh, movies since she was in diapers, I think. Uh, <laughs> you've, you've been a part of 16 uh, different television. I think, man, it could be over that, but 16 Somewhere. television Somewhere. and movie uh, presentations uh, with production companies like Disney, uh, 20th Century Fox, Sony. Uh, Talladega Nights was your first big <laughs> Um, come on, how cool was that? Yeah, I, I, it's funny though. It's, I, I haven't thought about this in a while. I remember we had just done, Talladega Nights had just come out on DVD. And I think at that point you were touring with uh, Bill Gaither for yeah. a stint, I think. Because I was in like Wednesday night class at church in Clanton, Alabama, which is the middle of nowhere. And mom comes in and pulls me out of class and is like, hey, Jason's on the phone with Bill Gaither. And I was yeah. I had, I had grown up watching like Gaither stuff on VHS, but I kept getting Bill Gaither confused with Billy Graham. <laughs> and I didn't uh, really know which one I was talking hey, to. Hey, dude, uh, when you're young, that, that's understandable. But yeah, they, they, yeah. they both pretty cool. I mean, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so they I don't care. That you know, confused and then just not. I knew who I was talking to, but I think you were just on the bus with them. I think you guys were. Uh, well, I was, as my daughter says, I was flexing a little bit. 
Uh, <laughs> that's, that, that's kind of the new thing. That's kind of the new term, you know, when you, 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 you're uh, name dropping a little bit. Uh, look at there. Uh, Macy says, Hey, Grace, I'm so proud of you. That's awesome. Um, you know, I'll never forget. I was on the, on the bus and we were talking about different things and they were going, Hey, well, one of my very favorite movies is Talladega Nights. And I said, man, you know, that little boy on there that <laughs> says, I'll jump on you like a spider monkey. I said, I know him. No, you don't. I yeah. said, yes, I do. Let's call him. So, well, well, it's funny because, you know, I would get hounded by, you know, tons of, you know, little, you know, uh, senior citizens who were like, I can't believe that you, you know, that you would do that film or would be allowed or, you know, would allow your kid to do it. And then probably 10, 12 years later, I'm opening up for the Gaither stuff when Adam, was with him and Bill comes up and he's quoting it left and right. That's it. And, 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 and see, that was so funny. So isn't funny. that awesome? It is. Sure. So and then you went from that to uh, Diary of a uh, of a Wimpy Kid. Now I know there's probably some stuff in between there, uh, but that was a really neat uh, moment as well. I remember watching that and man. My family has been so uh, supportive of what you have done and everything. And so uh, then when, when you went to that, all the kids were like, oh, my goodness, this is so cool, you know. Yeah, no, that was that was wild. That was uh, more or less uh, three years, pieces and parts in Vancouver. So we filmed all that in Canada, um, which was which was wild. That was my middle school life was every August, October, we would go up and, and knock out another wimpy movie. So now, uh, how old are you now, Grace? I'm, I'm 22. 22. Oh, my goodness. You're real old now. So, uh, yeah, I'm 20, yeah. 22. <laughs> Let, uh, oh, I forgot to ask you this. This is very important. How's mom and daddy doing? How's everybody doing? They're, they're doing good. I, if I had to guess, I'm sure they're watching right now. Mom, I, mom, dad, my grandparents, anyone who came to Crab Fest with us in like – when I was literally in diapers, I'm sure is on this call right now. <laughs> well, I'm so delighted. Uh, to I love them so dearly, and uh, I'm so thankful they have really uh, raised. Wait, okay, remember you on Dark? Yeah, okay, remember you on Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Just finished watching the movies again. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> See, it's awesome. I love this. Uh, so tell me, now we have something going on tomorrow, Grayson. Tell me a little bit about, okay, so Will Ferrell, you know, in Talladega Nights. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty amazing. Uh, the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And now uh, you have uh, shot a film, right, with yes, Tom Hanks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dude, dude, who's next? Yeah, I have no idea. Um, you know, it's it's funny because um, I mean, we did Talladega Nights. I I knew Will as as Buddy the Elf and Elf. I think that was the only thing that I'd probably seen at that time. Um, but I never dreamed that I would work with him or Tom Hanks or or anyone. I mean, Tom Hanks is. I mean, that's it's Forrest Gump. Um, no, that, no, no, that was right. the craziest thing. Is is for me. Uh, Tom is the most least intimidating person I've ever worked with in really? my life. Uh, I mean, to the point that, that it almost took the fun out of it um, a little bit because I was blessed. I worked from here to the wall from him for two months. I mean, we would, yeah. we'd work 10, 15 hours a day and then we'd go out and eat dinner. And that was the, that was the wild thing. And, and the crazy piece of it was, um, was that just here we are. Um, I'm working with Tom Hanks. I'm working with Stephen Graham, who just did the Irishman. Um, um, I'm working with people who worked on the Goonies, yeah. who worked in the Perfect Storm. Um, the, the the stunt coordinator. My favorite piece was just the stories that, that the crew would talk about. That you know, well, hey, you remember back when I was pulling you along on the boat when you were on the raft doing Castaway? Oh and, my goodness! Like that. The crazy thing was, is I had come home for Valentine's Day weekend, um, 2018, something like that. And I got the call saying, hey, we need you in Baton Rouge on Tuesday uh, to start boot camp with the Navy and Marines. Um, wow. Prep for 
for Greyhound for rehearsals. Um, so I, I get to Baton Rouge. I go through my wardrobe fittings, which is which is pretty you know, normal. And um, we roll up at about four in the morning, five o'clock to the USS Kid, which is a, a, a 1938 model destroyer that was used during World War II. Um, and we roll in with this guy named Captain Dale Dye, who worked on Saving Private Ryan, Band of Brothers, Platoon, wow. the Pacific, uh, who's their their key military advisor, um, who's a three time Purple Heart recipient. This as gung ho as can be. And we start boot camp and it's everything from we get up in the morning and run the levee. Um, we would we would do the, the whole drill, um, all the PT. And then how, so did, how did you do? I did fine. I lived. Hey, I wasn't the worst one. And that's all I cared about. <laughs> I picked up a two or three that was like, you know what? If I can beat those, I'm fine. I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun them. And uh, that that's how we did. And there was a core, probably 20 guys. Um, and these were guys that ranged from Rob Morgan, who, who just uh, did Just Mercy with Jamie Foxx, um, all kinds of guys. And, of course, we, we went in and we had a blast. You know, you walk through and, okay, well, here's this. 20 millimeter cannon or any aircraft gun, just all kinds of stuff. We went through all of it. We slept on the ship. We ate on the ship. Um, and then you turn around and you start filming. Yeah. I'm wearing a steel helmet that was made in 1941. For wow. And you're surrounded by not only um, a cast and crew that's the majority is ex-military, but also the, the, the cast as well as all the extras. So you're, you're standing in your full regalia, and then so are 74 other guys who are on their five-inch five, uh, five inch cannons and 40-millimeter uh, cannons. And it's, I mean, you're in the middle of it. And, it's, you know, you sit and pinch yourself and go, okay, I'm standing here screaming at Forrest Gump, and he's screaming at me. <laughs> and all these things are going off, and, and we're, we're jumping and screaming and shouting, there's mom on the on the thing. Yeah, it was what a blast. Uh, it was um it was wild. I will never forget it. Yeah, that has to be probably the most intense thing that you've done yet, right? <laughs> By far. Yeah, there, now, there was. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, uh, so it comes out uh, tomorrow. Can mm -hmm. we go ahead and tell them it's on Apple TV tomorrow, yeah, right? So, yeah, it comes on really 12 o'clock midnight if you really want to get into it. Um, but Apple TV Plus, and, and the reason for that is, is obviously with, with all the COVID-19 deal, the theaters aren't up and running. So this was a nice, uh, a really nice alternative that we're awfully thankful for. Um, the easiest way to do it is a lot of you, if you bought like an Apple product in the past year, that came free with it. You may not realize that you have it. Also, they've got a free trial going on right now. So hit it. <laughs> for no other reason. Hit it and then you got it free for seven days. You get Greyhound, and if you hate the rest of it, so be it. Um, but <laughs> I've been trying to keep up with the reviews, and, and a lot of them are pretty well. They're comparing it with Dunkirk or 1917, which is we're in fantastic company there. Um, oh. so, so we'll see. I'll see it midnight tonight. I'll, I'll crank that bad boy up and watch it. Dude, we're all going to do that as well. Now, uh, there's a little trailer that we have. Yeah. I think it's like uh, – uh, so can we can we do that? Can we watch – I think away. it's like I think it's like three minutes. Yeah, far away. I'll hop on. Yeah. Contact bearing zero nine one, range indefinite. Most likely to you both, sir. The Battle of the Atlantic is everything that happened in the Atlantic Ocean from the moment World War II began. There were thousands of ships that were operating at any given moment, trying to make the perilous journey from the Western Hemisphere to Britain, sending what was needed to liberate Europe. You both stubborn bow! And they were all would-be targets of the Nazi submarines. Huffed up reports a German transmission bearing 087 degrees. Range one five to two zero miles. These convoys would have to make long zigzagging courses, hopefully avoiding the submarines, but they were reduced to the speed of the slowest ship in the convoy. And the Nazi submarines were just as fast when they were on the surface. Con combat, looks like our friends come up for fresh air and to maintain speed with us. Contact bearing two zero seven, range three miles. Early in the war, the American ships had radar. They could see what was on the surface, but it was a spotty radar. It often didn't work very well. What's going on? I don't know, sir. I can't get a good read. 
So you're relying on your eyes, much like a guy with binoculars on the bridge, with sonar and hydrophones relying on your ears. Got him. Contact close. Starboard beam 083. Now, Mr. Lopez! Fire, fire! Come on. And all those things can play tricks with you over time. Sonar bridge, anything further? Still stationary, possible decoy. Sonar reports. Contact is not moving, possible decoy. Yet another challenge was how primitive communication was between parts of the ship to the captain. Contact bearing starboard. Contact bearing starboard 012, range 600 yards, sir. Mr. Lopez, stand by with a medium pattern. Men and ready, sir. It was a guy's job to repeat what they just heard to the captain or repeat what the captain just told them to whoever he's talking to. And it has to be exact. Contact now bears port 012, range 1,000 yards of closing. <laughs> you gonna do that again? No, sir. If so, you will be relieved. Aye, aye, sir. Ideally, a convoy goes across the ocean without ever talking to anybody but themselves. Any radio signal going from the convoy to headquarters, you didn't want to send those out because if anybody was listening, they'd know where you were. Do I break the radio silence with a message to the Admiralty? Every ship was on their own. We are running, we are running down, down a target. target. Let us attend our duty as well. This, this is what we train for. There have been movies about World War II, but we expanded it. Embracing the details, but at the same time, tying those details into the human story. What do we rely on in order to get us through this? We'll bring hell down from on high. Our movie puts a magnifying glass on the history of the Battle of the Atlantic. Here they come. Ants, <laughs> <Dance>, bro. <laughs> that, that makes you that. Can you believe that you were a part of a field like that? Not, not a bit. I mean, it was. Don't get me wrong. It was, it was a hard shoot. We had a, we had a fantastic time. But I mean, it was a lot of hard work. But I pinch myself every time I look back and go, man, I was able to be a part of something that I've dreamt about. That yeah. I, I honestly probably didn't even dream about because I didn't even know it was an option. Uh, that was. Yeah far out of, of what I thought I was you know, capable of doing and able to be a part of. And that's all the good Lord. Um, yeah. By far, it's, it's, it's by no means um, my abilities or my talents that got me there. Um, it is all by God's grace that I'm doing any of this um, because Lord knows when I was, you know, seven, I wanted to draw pictures and ride bulls and be George Strait. And that was it. You know, that was my, <laughs> those were my aspirations. Um, but yet here I am on a, you know, a boat with Tom Hanks. Um, that's amazing life. man yes sir i'm just so proud of you i'm proud that of your stand for the lord as well it's proud that you've not lost you know that and and i pray that you hang on to that of course you mom and daddy uh you have no choice yeah, <laughs> they'll look at they'll, they'll they'll find you for sure but uh um you know, me. the relationship with Jesus is is so key in it on uh, living out your dreams. I, I, I would love for you to share just a little bit about uh, about how you feel about all of that as well with people yeah. watching right now. You know, uh, absolutely. Um, a, a lot of people and, and I think Christians are, are, are the worst at, at throwing stones about maybe putting you in a box as far as what your your ministry can be and do. Because a lot of times we think is of, of, of mission work as, you know, a, a across an ocean or, or across a street. Um, and for me, mine is in the film industry. And that doesn't have to be um, from a pulpit or, you know, with the KGV in hand or KJV in hand. Um, but for me, I know without a shadow of a doubt that, that the Lord has put me there. Um, I remember we were doing boot camp the second night we were doing boot camp and we were doing this uh, around the clock. So a lot of my stuff, we would train during the day and then we would actually perform what our duty would be all through the night and revolve in watches as the Navy would. Um, and I think he was probably pushing three in the morning and I was talking to one of the chiefs who was putting us through and, uh, 
I was like, man, it's just, you know, it's God's grace. And I'm here, no per- particular, I wasn't trying to, you know, get in there with it. And um, he said, oh, so, so you're, you're, you're a part of the faith. And he said it really weird and, and really sly. And I was like, well, yeah. And it turns out this guy had just gotten saved maybe four or five months ago, has a brand new baby and has been married a year and is trying to figure out, okay, I have this new thing that has changed my life and how do I, you know, apply it to my life because I'm, I'm standing there next to an eight year special forces vet who's just newly retired. Um, and it turns out that production didn't put him up and he lived a couple hours away. We would work about 15 hours a day. So it would just, it wouldn't work out for him to go home and then come back in the morning. So he stayed with me and, you know, yeah. I went in the morning and there'd be an eight year special forces vet, you know, on the futon at the, <laughs> you know, um, embassy suites. And, I cannot tell you how many two, three hour, three a.m. you know Jesus conversations that occurred. Yeah, you know, in those moments, and I know w- without a doubt that you know that was the reason, if nothing else, all the all the Tom Hanks, all the rest is fanfare, and and you know you you live your life in in such a way that you know what if you don't even use words, they understand you know what you believe and what you stand for. Yeah. Um, but I mean, there there were times where you know I'd be I'd be walking through set. I remember I was grabbing some crafty, and thank God we're in Baton Rouge, so the food was freaking amazing. Was good. <laughs> I have like peanuts and a pack of gum, you know, for your yeah. little nurses, and we had like boudin and beignets, <laughs> and so we all gained like twenty pounds. And I was leaving the craft service table, and the the second AD, the second assistant director, who's an uh, ex marine, just passed me. And uh, he said, hey, I've got a sibling that's sick. I need you to pray for her. And just kept walking. Wow. And we've not at, at any point in time had that conversation. communications about God, Jesus, church, nothing. Um, and that's, you know, that's really encouraging. I mean, you, you just go through and, and you, you live. We're so accustomed, I think most of the people here watching, of we're surrounded by Christians. And then that's a wonderful thing is that, you know what, iron sharpens iron and you need to have those people around you to build you up. But we forget what it's like to be around real and raw people. And you realize yeah. I am the light in you know, the dark places when all other lights have gone out and you live your life as best you can. And uh, you pray that it, um, it affects people positively. And well, you can hold that standard up and you have a good time in the process. I, I just love it because I know the Lord is smiling right now and said, hey, he gets it. That's the reason we put him there. <laughs> and so I and plus, man, you've worked so hard. Uh, you know, it's it's a thing that I was talking about today uh, with my wife. You know, kids think that uh, you you can just do whatever that you want and fulfill your dreams and be whatever that you want with the rest of your buddies and do all of these things. But it really comes with uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of time put in. Uh, If you want to be, let's just say you want to be doing what you are doing in film, you have to put your work in. Uh, You want to be a professional ball player. Guess what? While everybody else is sitting around and they're they're on their Xbox or whatever, you better be dribbling a ball. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. If I mean, that's I, what you're... I had. Uh, I had the flu whenever I auditioned for Greyhound. Um, I mean, that was one of those one of those deals where you look at it and go, "Okay, I see this opportunity that I don't think I've ever had another audition come through that explicitly said Tom Hanks World War II movie." <laughs> and I'm out of school because I got the flu. You know, so might as well make the drive. And I mean, we we hauled down to Atlanta and. Yeah, you do it, and it and it's it's no so different. And don't get me wrong; I mean, this I, I struggle a lot with with the fact that you know why am am I the one that's you know allowed to to do this and, and be a part of these things? Um, because I I most certainly don't you know feel any different than, than anyone else, and and that that gets me a little bit. I have to kind of sit back and, and think on it. Um, but then again, I know that you know it ain't my job to know everything, and that's why yeah. the good up there and not me. Um, but I love it. And it is something that I have to work at. I mean, there was a time in high school where I didn't work for three years and it wasn't because I wasn't working my butt off to work. Um, that was just the name of the, the name of the industry at that time. Um, yep. 
art and there's a lot of dry spells and half the time you're a starving artist. Um, but yeah. <laughs> you're not, I know that's something that, that you, you can talk definitely to me. talk to me now. Yeah. Talk to yeah. me about it. You're, you're, yeah. <laughs> you're famine. Well, that's, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. And Grace, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to be watching this. We're going to be watching all of this stuff that God has got you in the middle of. I'm so proud of you. I want you to know that. I'm, I'm so proud of you. Uh, tonight at midnight, uh, Greyhound, Tom Hanks, and and the most important uh, character, uh, Grayson Russell. Uh, so, you know, hey, there he is. That's the dude. That's the man <laughs> right there. That is that is the boy from uh, Clinton, Alabama, right there. <laughs> that, yeah. And, yeah. and my jacket, my, my jacket was way too tight. <laughs> That's all right. Come on, Jason. I was putting right. the pressure on the buttons. Hey, so. Look, I think that that was the period where where you and Adam decided to go get biceps. Man, we was going after it. <laughs> but I'm yeah. going to say this: I uh, you don't I, stay after it. If you yeah, don't stay okay. after it, I know yeah. what happens. Yeah, I just finished doing a, a recording for some worship stuff, and we just uh, redid a uh, "Please Come Down to Me." So we're, uh, we're yeah, hey, we thought, hey, it's it's still in there. I looked, at it, I was like 2002 or something like that. I was like, there's no way that song's that old, but it is, yeah. buddy. I love you, my friend. You take good care of yourself. You too, boss man. Stay after it, and uh, thank you so very much for coming on. Thank Tell you. your family that I love them. Yes, and, sir. Well. They're probably, wa I, well, I know they're watching. I just saw, uh, I love them so dearly and keep up the great work. Uh, if there's anything that we uh, can get behind and, and we need to know about, please let us know. Thank you for coming on. God Thank bless you, you Grace. And you. I, I just can't wait to see what is next. And if you ever need a long haired gospel singer on one of your movies, you just let me know, son, I'm growing it out. Hey, well, if you ever need a, a long haired, you know, backup singer or dancer or whatever, let me know. I, I can. Hey, I, I, I can't dance. So, yes, I do yeah, need well, one of those. I, I'll figure it out. It'll have to be the Holy Ghost. We can do it. We can figure hey, it out. We'll <laughs> you take care of yourself, son. Thank you so very much. Awesome. Grace, God you bless you. And congratulations on graduating. Thank you. Thank I love, you. I love, I love, I love everybody up there at Lee University. Such a great place there in Cleveland, and and that's where my uh, my oldest daughter is looking to go up. So, oh, uh, all right. Well, hey, we'll, we'll holler at me when she's thinking about it, and I'll uh, I'll hook her up with all the all the uh, all the good stuff. Absolutely, man. Take care, my brother. You too. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, how about that? How awesome is that? I told you, uh, it's just amazing. Don't forget to watch this movie. Um, uh, you know, Greyhound, it's going to be on Apple uh, uh, TV at midnight, uh, Apple Plus TV at midnight tonight. And uh, we just absolutely love Grayson. And I've been knowing him for a long, long, long time. And that young man hasn't changed a bit. And I, I love it. I love what God is doing in his life. And I love what he's allowing God to do. Uh, listen, uh, if you'll stay with me for just just a little bit. I have some uh, really exciting news uh, uh, for you and, and for me. Um, something that I've always uh, dreamed of doing and always known since I was a little boy uh, that I, I knew that I was going to be doing something in ministry. Uh, when I was a young kid, I used to uh, play church all the time, you know. Uh, I remember holding, uh, you know, Dad's Bible and and uh, get a little clip on tie and, and just go to preaching. And I've uh, got pictures of it actually. Um, but you know, it's funny how God works. Uh, sometimes He allows you to take your time and to get into certain things, and uh, and then sometimes He places you in those things because I think um, he loves us so much and he loves fellowship with us so much and he loves uh, that, you know, our, what we love to do, but also what we are created to do. He loves to see those things uh, come to fruition. And so we have decided 
And um, I actually, uh, let me read you, let me find you this scripture. Let me put my glasses on here. And I had it marked and I closed my Bible a while ago. Um, but I'm going to get it here in just a minute. And, um, but I want to tell you, this is so exciting for me. It's something that I've always uh, wanted to do, and uh, it, and I'm excited about announcing that we're getting ready to do it. And so, here's the scripture: Jeremiah one um, four. Let's start there. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou cometh forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. Then I said, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand, touched uh, my mouth, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations, over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. That is Jeremiah 1, 4 through 10. I wanted to read you that passage of scripture because uh, one of the things that that I feel very compelled uh, and I know that I'm called to uh, ministry and, and, and singing in, in music. And I've done that for 26 years and hopefully I'll do it for 26 more um, if the Lord tarries and allows me to or 46 more years. Uh, but then there's another piece that that I feel like that I really need to step more into. And I've always been nervous about it. I've always second guessed uh, myself. I've always felt unworthy uh, to be a, a carrier uh, of the gospel. But then I read God's word. And you know what? We can only do what we can do by the grace and the mercy of an ever loving God. And so what I've decided to do when our team has put together is we're going to do a virtual uh, church. And so we're going to get this started. And we're so excited and uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to do uh, very uh, unique services uh, virtually. Uh, everyone can come. Everyone can uh, be a part of this. Everyone can share. Everyone can uh, help us because we want to hear your testimonies. We want to hear your prayer requests. We're going to do this. Uh, you know, it's it's crazy. We live at a time right now when it is uh, a lot of churches, a lot of houses of worship, uh, you know, are having to uh, be shut down and do uh, services online and things like that. Uh, and it's very, it's a very different time. Uh, but you know what? We don't have to be silent. A lot of people saying, well, you know, uh, we have to... Uh, close down. No, we're going to open our mouths. Because here's the thing. I've always heard this. We sing to an audience of one. We worship to an audience of one. And that is uh, vertically, that is Jesus Christ. And so we can do that. You don't have to be worried about uh, singing uh, next to your neighbor. Uh, we'll practice. <laughs> we're going to do it with this uh, virtual service. And here's what we're going to be singing out of. We're going to be singing out of the uh, church hymnal, the Redback Church hymnal, which I'm so excited about. And um, one of my very favorite, uh, one of my very favorite memories of growing up is grabbing a Redback hymnal, standing uh, next to my grandmother at times, sometimes on stage, uh, watching others and singing out of there, uh, the hymnals everybody's singing out of, and man, the glory of God fall. And I just absolutely love it. There's nothing in the world like it. So we're gonna be uh, doing a lot of 
uh, songs out of the Red Back Kingdom. We're going to have guests. We're going to have a lot of things going on. And the name of the church is going to be called Simple Faith. Simple Faith. And that is the name of our virtual church that we have started. We would love for you to join with us. It's going to be during a time that is not going to be uh, conflicting with maybe a church service uh, that is your own. Uh, we wouldn't want to do that, but we would just want to give you another piece. If you don't have a church, then, <laughs> hey, guess what? You can be a part of this with us. Man, I love these uh, headphones. Y'all, hold on just a minute. Let me get my hair brushed back, and now let me try this again. Hey, let's do this. I was not going to do this, but I'm going to now, I think. Uh, let's do a song out of, the, out of this. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. I'm an heir of salvation. Purchased by God, born of. <laughs> oh. I love these headphones. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is. My story, this is my song. Praise me, my Savior, all the day long. This is my See how much fun that's going to be. We're going to have a great time. And plus, here's the thing. We're going to talk about some current events. We're going to talk about some things that's going on in the world. A lot of people are wanting to know uh, some answers. They're wanting to know how to feel. How am I supposed to feel with what all is going on? And I, the only way that we can deal with those things is with a simple truth, a simple faith. And so we're excited about it. And that's why that we called our church, uh, virtual church, Simple Faith. So we're going to be digging in God's word. We're going to be uh, talking about uh, some, some very current issues. And we're going to be talking about the goodness of Jesus Christ. And so we're going to, we're going to dig down deep. God bless you. We love you. Please be in prayer for us on this. Uh, I'm going to be praying uh, fervently uh, about this because I believe it is, is very needed. As of right now, it's going to be a virtual church. Who knows what it's going to become? Uh, we're already talking about conferences. We're already talking about uh, books and literature and different things. So get ready because I believe uh, that a great, great move is getting ready to take place. And we're just excited. So please be in prayer. Um, we need a couple of little things. So uh, we're going to be uh, needing a, a, a little pulpit uh, to uh, sh start sharing um, 
from and family with. There's so many different little things that we're going to be needing. So we'll be uh, uh, asking, you know, if, if, if there's someone that you know uh, might have one that they're not using a small uh, and you have uh, maybe you have one for sale or something, let us know. Uh, let us know at, uh, you can email, and this is at Tina, T-I-N-A, at jasoncrab.com. And so if you have a uh, small pulpit uh, that uh, you have for sale or you know somebody that has one uh, that might be interested in selling, let us know. Uh, of course, we're going to have to be, uh, you know, getting some equipment and just doing some other things, getting prepared and ready. And we're going to do it simple at first. We're, we're, uh, we're going to do the best that we possibly can. And we're going to use the word, the word of God, the truth that what we need. And that's the most important thing. And, and so we've got a great, great uh, first service uh, lined up. We've already uh, been doing some studying on and it's exciting times god bless you we love you thank you for your continued prayers and your support uh, if you want to know how that you can help and support uh, what we do you can go to jasoncrab.com we are building oh, right there you can uh, for the pulpit if you have any uh, thing like that tina at jasoncrab.com uh, also you can go to jasoncrab.com as well if you want to help out uh, and support and help us get started uh, in this as well. Uh, we are very thankful and are very grateful and are very excited. This is exciting times for me. I'm just so pumped and so excited, so nervous, so antsy, but I'm so excited about bringing you uh, the first service, the first sermon, the first songs. And uh, uh, so God bless you. Uh, thank you for your prayers. Simple faith. Keep us in your prayers. Please close us in prayer, Jason. I would absolutely love uh, to close us in prayer. You know, um, let me do this before we pray, okay? I want to ask someone maybe uh, that has been watching, that has been listening, and you're going, wow, how did that young man... Uh, get to be in a movie uh, at 22 years old with Tom Hanks and now he's been in uh, numerous of films and you heard him. He said it is because of the blessings of Jesus Christ. Um, you know, all great gifts come from God. Um, we're not perfect. Grayson would tell you that. I, I promise you I'd be the first to stand up and tell you um, I'm in uh, I, boy, I have to have a lot of work each and every day, you know, uh, and uh, but I will say that I'm thankful for the grace and mercy of God. And that's where it's at. And so here's the thing. Uh, do you have Jesus in the center of your life? Have you given your full life to Christ? Um it's one thing to ask him to save your soul. It's another thing to say, Lord, here is my life. Take me, use me, guide me, direct me. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's ever been a time that we've needed it, it's right now. There's a lot of people out there that need direction, need help, need a friend, need someone to show them the love of Christ. What this world needs is the love of Jesus. And so you can start by surrendering your life to the Lord. The Bible says that whosoever should call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you of all unrighteousness, not, not part of it, but all of it. And that is good news. Um, so I would ask you to pray a sinner's prayer with me, and then I'm going to close in a prayer uh, of protection and blessing as well. But let's start with the sinner's prayer. You can, everyone, pray this with me. Heavenly Father, I'm a sinner, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the wrong things that I've done. I'm sorry for the times that I've embarrassed myself, embarrassed others, and Lord, I'm just ashamed of some of the selfish choices that I've made. 
Tonight I confess I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. In Jesus, you died so that I might have life. You came and you gave your all. And I believe that and I claim that. So I'm asking you to be Lord of my life. You said if I confess, you would forgive me. So I'm confessing. I'm sorry, Jesus. Now say this with me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you for making me whole. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for me. Thank you for coming out of that grave victorious on the third day. I love you, Jesus. Now, Heavenly Father, there's a lot of people out there that I know that, that are going through some tough times. Lord, uh, I pray for Hillary, Lord, right now, a friend of mine, Lord, that just said goodbye to her father. Lord, I know that that has to be rough. Lord, I pray for your comforting hands to be with her. Lord, I know that there's a lot of people that are sick. Lord, a friend of ours, Charlie Daniels, went home to be with you. Lord, I just pray for his family. Lord, I know that there's some that is sick and is going through this pandemic. I just pray, God, that, Lord, that you would heal our land, that you would move upon this land. Lord, that, that, that you would touch it and bless it again. Lord, just I ask you, God, to, to bless those, Lord, that are in need of a job. Lord, I just pray and give you all the glory and all the honor, Lord, that their best job, their best days are ahead of them. I just thank you for that. And I give you all the glory and all the praise for health and families right now. And Lord, there might be a wayward child, Lord, that someone is worried about. I just pray, God, for them right now. I just pray, Lord, for their family. I plead the blood, your blood, over their home and over my home and over our ministry and over, Lord, our, our, our music ministry, but also over our, our new ministry, Simple Faith, that is just starting. I pray for your precious blood to be, uh, cover it, Lord, cover it. We'll just give you all the glory. Thank you for my family, God. Lord, I pray, God, that you'll bless my family. Lord, as they are doing music and as they are ministering and as restoring hope, Lord, I pray for them. And I, I pray for everyone, Lord. I just, I just ask you to touch them. And we give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor. You're an awesome Savior. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We love you. Faith, thank you. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Keep us in your prayers. Um, uh, if um, man and, and, and be in close uh, watch uh, for the first service uh, we are excited we're excited about the word uh, that we have been studying uh, we're excited about delivering it it's going to be powerful it's going to be uh, a very enlightening it, and I believe that God is going to bless it uh, keep us in your prayers and uh We'll let you know when we're going to be singing and when we're going to be uh, doing our first uh, service, um, Simple Faith. God love you. Thank you for tuning in uh, to the show. God bless uh, uh, you and, and, and God bless, uh, uh, you know, this movie. Uh, God bless Grace and Russell and his family. We love you. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to share. And... Uh, don't forget to pray for us. Jesus is the answer. He is the answer. Amen.